All right, folks, Mr. Tesalonian back here again. Uh, we're working on the actual reactor barrel now in the ISIS gasifier project. I'm going to take you through kind of what I've got going on here, what I've installed. Uh, first of all, what we have is our main ash dump output here. It's just a large six inch collar that I've uh, cut a hole out of the interior here and welded that to it. That gives us something that we can dump the ash. It's also our air input when we run this as an updraft gasifier. And what I have here for the actual plug for this is a uh, six inch threaded insert cap here that we can actually just throw into place and there we go. That'll give us a nice uh, seal on that and also gives us the ability to open it up pretty easily. Uh, the oversized caps actually are very difficult to find a wrench or anything that you can get onto because this will actually get some tar and actually because of the heat and the corrosions and other things could become difficult to undo. So you're going to want something you can actually put a nice wrench on to get that thing off of there. Uh, the other side of this here, there's our gas output section. And what this is, just to show you, is a, uh, a coupler. And this coupler allows for this section of pipe to be hooked uh, directly off of another one of these going to our fractional distillation column uh, that we're going to use to first distill out the different uh, agents that we're looking for here out of the bio crude reactor. And that allows you to just come straight up to it. You don't have to actually spin the main pipe. You can just spin this collar. It's a little difficult to do one handed here. Uh, but that allows you to go through there and just Hook that together nice and tight. I'll take that off for now. And you got a good gas seal all the way across. It's something we can move out of the way. We're going to have a second one of these actually sitting right over here somewhere just off to the side of the barrel and the door. Uh, that'll actually hook to our fractional distillation. That will release uh, the coupler there also. You can swing. Once you undo this one, you'll be able to swing it out of the way and then pull your barrel out of the inside of the stove. Uh, let me go ahead and walk you around here real quick. Oh, well, first of all, uh, just a quick uh, addition to the frame here at the lower section. You can see I've put some steel pipe welded from the very front legs to the second dairy legs and all the way back out here. Uh, these are slightly angled towards the inwards here, uh, towards an inwards direction, giving us more of a centered uh, focus going to the outside. You know, so most of the mass is actually distributed right here in the center. Uh, when we pull this barrel out, so I'm going to actually use that center mass focused off of that and spreading it out a little bit. Uh, that'll just help us when we pull the barrel out of the uh, stove and fill it full of wood. That gives us a lot more support. I'm actually going to still install one more bar here. And that bar is going to run right here from the center of this low, uh, rear bar. And it's going to come up to right here. It's going to actually secondary brace off of this, which will give us a nice, when this comes out, when the barrel comes out and pivots off of that on the weight, it flexes this point downwards. Uh, no matter how hard I try to do it here, you can see, especially some weight in it. So by adding another brace running all the way down, we'll be able to strengthen that pretty well. So let me go ahead and walk you around here and show you what's going on inside the barrel. First of all, I have a little excerpt video that I'll show you what's going on behind that uh, triangular plate in the back. Uh, it's our air output, or our gas output goes in there, and it's designed just to make sure nothing can get in it. So real quick, I'm just gonna flip the screen up here, a little bit of noise. This is our actual, i give it a second. There's our actual uh, separation screen. That's why those uh, braces are going across both at the top and at the bottom there. Uh, that allows for the screen to sit on that when the weight from the wood's on there. And what this will allow us to do is actually keep the actual wood mass uh, away from the bottom of the, the barrel itself, allowing us an uh, open gas area for the gas to go out. And also when we use this as an updraft gasifier, uh, when we open that large plug there, it allows for the air intake to spread all the way around the bottom of the wood mass or the biochar at that time and be able to draw evenly up and create a nice burn zone. Uh, so that's easy to put in. It's just got a handle here. You can actually pop it loose, pull it down and remove it. And that gives you the ability when this is flipped upright to open up the lower plug and clean it out efficiently. Uh, it gives you an easy ability to do that. So I'm going to go from here real quick and just add in the end little clip of what's underneath the triangular piece. All right, folks, here we are. We're looking down the inside of the barrel. We've installed the uh, ash out or air draw in for the biochar gasifier, and we've also got our gas out pipe here. And I'm going to install a piece. It's uh, basically a safety device uh, right here. This is going to create a uh, safety block between our gas out and us filling this uh, barrel up, because you definitely don't want anything getting inside of that tube up there. 
and blocking that completely off. If that was to happen, uh, why this was in full temperature at full run, this could become very, very dangerous. We're also gonna install a pressure relief valve into this that I'll show you how to make. But you can see here, if I turn this, you can see we've got about a two and a half inch depth of walls coming up there. And that's actually gonna sit just like that. Uh, right to the back, it'll create a nice draw where my fingers are down here at the bottom. That'll create a nice draw and the angle this thing sits at when we have it open. We'll also make sure that that's still at the perfect angle so material's not flying up inside of there. So this is a safety measure so that our gas pipe output doesn't get blocked up. So let me weld that into place and I'll show you that from there.